Questions for you. Do you like working with technology, including fascinating maps and data sets? Do you like getting outside and collecting data? Do you like figuring out problems? Do you like being on the cutting edge of stuff? Big data, artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, 3D mapping. Do you want a career using tools, data, and perspectives that will help you make a positive difference in your community and in your world? If so, then this course is for you. Loki 3100, the art and science of map design. Geo-visualization. Geo-visualization. Visualization about the Earth at North Park University. Welcome. Joseph Kursky here, and I'm honored and excited about serving as your instructor for this course and working with you. I'm a geographer and GIS educator, geographic information systems. And although I've been in this field for many decades, I think this is the most exciting time we've ever had in location intelligence and a perfect time for you to get into it. Each week in this course, we will watch a few videos and read some pertinent information about how maps and geospatial information can be used to engage, inform, and inspire. How you can use location intelligence and geographic information systems to understand the past and the present and plan for a more sustainable, happier, healthier future. Yay! How you can chart your own pathway in location intelligence, business, engineering, natural resources, city planning, environmental studies, social work, health, economics, and other fields. Also, each week, you'll do some hands-on work, making maps, analyzing data from local to global scale about natural hazards, population change, watersheds, rivers, consumer preferences and lifestyles, ecoregions, parks, pets, and you name it. The bulk of this course is hands-on work with these tools, data and maps. They are so visual and so compelling that the best way, I believe, and I hope you will as well, to learn about them is to actually do it. In fact, behind me are some of the fascinating maps that you will be examining and making. Yes, you will be making your own maps and your own visualizations. We will also have discussions about what we read about and what we do. You will share the maps you make with your classmates and with me so that we can all see the good work that you're doing and give you feedback. Working in location intelligence is very much a, a community spirit and vibe, and we will practice that right here in our course. We will also have a short quiz each week so you can assess your own learning and how you are progressing. So upon completion of this course, you will be able to do six things. Identify ways in which maps and geo-visualizations are providing a, a common language and framework for communications and for solving problems. Apply cartographic design principles such as symbology, color, and classification methods to create, modify, and critically evaluate effective maps and visualizations. And believe me, we will look at a lot of maps and some, some maps that aren't so good as well. Three, analyze data spatially with WebGIS tools using a variety of techniques, including visualization, filtering, map overlay, routing, mean center, and proximity. Number four, demonstrate how to create maps and apps from spreadsheets, from GPS data, from field surveys, from joining data, uh, and from pre-existing maps. Number five, identify ways in which society influences mapping and how mapping influences society it goes both ways through data availability, data quality, map projections, crowdsourcing, location privacy, the Internet of Things, and design. And finally, number six, create multimedia, compelling 2D and 3D maps and 3D scenes that effectively communicate an issue, an event, a theme, or research results. And just a couple of tips to be successful in this course. First of all, interact with your colleagues and with me, your instructor. Location intelligence is a fast-paced, rapidly changing technology platform. We'll talk about platforms in the course. Cultivate the habit of networking and learning from each other. We're all in this together, folks. Skim. The course contains much content, including links to articles and tutorials. You won't have time to read it all, at least not in this course. So skim when possible, rather than reading every word. Also, if a map or a data set is not working, number one, check your bandwidth. Do you have enough bandwidth? 
Number two, try a different browser. Number three, post your question or difficulty in the discussion forum for the course. Number four, if it's still not working, skip it. It's much more important for you to keep moving forward and getting the big picture rather than getting stuck on something. And also adopt the attitude of the lifelong learner. Keep asking questions, investigate, explore. If you have time after your assignments are turned in, go deeper into a map or tool that you found interesting or compelling. And lastly, but not least, have fun and enjoy the ride. <laughs>